Welcome you all, my dear learners. I am Mrs. Yang Suguna, Assistant Professor, Department of Computer Science from St. Joseph's College of Arts and Science for Women, Uzu. Now we are going to see about the subject, Information Technology in Business. In that particularly, we are going to discuss about the classification of computers. Based on size and power, computer systems can be classified as microcomputers, mini computers, mainframe, supercomputers, and network computers. First, coming to the microcomputers, it is a familiar kind of computer. They are of three types. First comes personal computers. As we are seeing in the diagram, it is a desktop computer which we can see in different computer labs and offices. So PCs were desktop or portable machines. They can use application software such as word processors, spreadsheets, etc. They are also easier to use and more affordable than workstations. They have less sophisticated video display screens, operating systems and networking capabilities. They do not have processing power as the workstations have. Examples of personal computers are Azure, Aspire, Compact, Presario, etc. And next, we are going to see about the workstation. So, seeing in the diagram, we can see different uh, monitors and with resources such as the keyboards and mouse. They are expensive, powerful machines used by engineers, scientists, and other professionals who process a lot of data. People who need to run complex programs and display both work in progress and results graphically also use workstation. Workstations use sophisticated display screens featuring high resolution color graphics and operating systems such as units that permitted multitasking. Workstations use powerful networking links to other computers. The difference is the powerful processor which produces results much faster than the personal computers. The more powerful workstations are called supercomputers. Examples of personal computers are we have seen already. So likewise, here are the examples of workstations. They are Sun, Apollo and IBM. And third, we are going to see about the portable computers. They are smaller yet more powerful. They can be easily carried around and they are of three types. First comes our laptop or notebook, which we are using in our daily life. It can be either AC powered or battery powered or both. It is helpful for users who have to work away from their offices. Users may be the student, journalist, salesperson, etc. These computers combine the power of the PC with mobility. Example of laptop, IBM ThinkPad. And next, we are going to see about the sub notebook. As shown in the diagram, it will be smaller, which can be placed inside the briefcase. And they are used by frequent flyers and life on the road professionals. They have external, power, external floppy drive and monogram monitor. Example of color sub notebook is Toshiba Portage. And third comes PDA, that is personal digital assistant, which is smaller than the sub notebook. They combine pen input, writing recognition, personal organizational tools, and communication capabilities. Everything in a very small package. Users are executives, businessmen, etc., who use these machines for their day to day activities such as scheduling, organization, etc. So, example of PDA is Apple Company Newton. And next, we are going to discuss about the mini computers, which are mid range computers developed as special purpose mainframe computers. They were used to control machines in manufacturing units. The more powerful mini computers are called super mini. One of the popular mini computer system is the VAC made by Digital Equipment Corporation. Mini computers work well in distributed data processing, that is project. Example of such a computer architecture is client server model, in which the clients will be the microcomputers and the server will be the mini computer. As we can see in diagram, there is a mini computer. 
and next comes the mainframe computers which is larger in size which can be kept in a room and mainframe computers can process several million in instructions per second and then it can be handled by different organizations mainly insurance companies banks airline and railway reservation system example of mainframe computer is ibm companies s class 390 and next we are going to discuss about the super computer they are the fastest calculating devices ever invented a desktop microcomputer processes data and instructions in millions of seconds or microseconds super computer can operate at speeds measured in nanoseconds and even in picoseconds most super computers are used by government agencies these machines are for applications requiring very large programs and huge amount of data that must be processed quickly examples where the supercomputers can be used are weather forecasting oil exploration weapons research and large scale simulation mainframe execute many programs concurrently where supercomputers run few programs as fast as possible more power, powerful supercomputers use a technology called massively parallel processing that is thousands of integrated microprocessors one massively parallel computer built by intel is capable of performing 8.6 billion mathematical calculations per second at last we are going to discuss about the network computers they are computers with minimal memory disk storage and processor power designed to connect to the network that is internet the idea behind is that many users who are connected to the network do not need all the computer power they get from pc personal computer instead they can rely on power of network servers so here also client server architecture is maintained network computers designed to connect to the internet are sometimes called internet boxes net pcs and internet appliances network computers manufacturers are oracle corporations and sun microsystems according to network computer reference profile a network computer has 4 to 54 mb of ram 8 mb of rom card smart card slot infrared and network interfaces a parallel port and a pair of ps class 2 compatible io port so till now we have discussed about the five types of computers now let us go to the question session that you get ready to answer your questions in comment box okay so the questions here are mention any two difference between mainframe computers and super computers and second one who is known as the father of computer in india not in word i am asking the father of computer in india so give your answers in common box by mentioning 1 and 2 okay get soon uh, so you can answer easily i think so okay let us see in next video thank you all